Hello and welcome. Please read the problem and try it on your own. All right, so I notice that Sean has three to the second crates. And the first thing I'm gonna do is rewrite three to the second as nine. I feel like that's gonna make this problem a little bit more manageable, right? So Sean has nine crates. And maybe I'll write over here as a record, we have three to the second crates, which of course equals nine crates. And then I, I notice it says there are three to the zero kilograms of berries in each crate. But three to the zero is one. So now the problem's reading a little bit e easier, but we're gonna write it down. We have three to the zero kilograms of berries. And that equals, of course, one kilogram of berries. Right, anything to the zero power, of course, except one, I said uh, zero to the zero power, which we're not gonna get into here. Anything to the zero power is one, so three to the zero power is just one. So now I'm gonna reread that. Sean has nine crates, and there are one kilogram of berries in each crate. Now it says when empty, the crate weighs three to the negative one kilograms. Over here, I'm gonna write three to the negative one kilograms uh, is the weight of the empty crate. So I'll write empty for myself, empty crate. Now three to the negative one is not 0.3, it's one divided by three, or a third, or one over three to the first. It's a third of a kilogram, and that's the weight of an empty crate. So these are my own notes, right? All right, so they wanna know, um, what is the weight of all the crates, implying all of them put together when they're empty, and write our answer in standard form. All right, so think about this, right? We've got, we've got nine crates, right? Nine of them, and each of the crates weigh a third of a kilogram. So nine crates, they reach over a third of a kilogram. What is the total weight of that? Well, it's just gonna be nine times a third, right? Nine crates times a third of a kilogram per crate. So that's three, altogether three kilograms. And that is the weight of all the crates added together. How many kilograms of berries does Sean have in total? Well, again, we've got nine crates, but this time we've got a one kilogram of berries in each crate. So altogether we have nine times one kilograms of berries. So this equals nine kilograms. So I think the, the major thing here that we're decoding is um, the odd setup of the question into standard form and then rereading it. And that's, you know, that process really illuminates the simplicity of the question. Thanks.